So, y'all probably remember when I brought up a chart. And uh, what that chart was, was uh, this, uh, this breakdown of the um, New York Stock Exchange versus the uh, military industrial complex. Give you a few minutes to look that over. So basically, the military industrial complex did really fucking well during the um, um, mass inflation from the uh, Russian invasion, right? Um, and while the military industrial complex was doing fucking gangbusters, uh, the rest of us were languishing. That's how it was. And anybody who insists otherwise is literally asking you to ignore data. Or more, you know, appropriately demanding that you ignore reality. Because this is the reality. Right fucking here. We're dealing with bloodthirsty, evil people who would rather that Thales, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, Raytheon, and I, I don't know why it's not listed here, but Boeing, uh, keep doing fucking awesome while there are more homeless people here now. While... Um, there's enough of uh, a recession that Biden is literally trying to redefine what re recession means. Um, and that uh, <laughs> they had to lock the Wikipedia page about what recessions are because people kept on trying to add Biden's bullshit redefinition to it. Well, this is the true reality right here. The killers, the people who make money off of killing, they're doing awesome right now. And while Biden got to, you know, campaign around, and make no mistake, that's what it was, uh, by calling it a Putin's price hike, we all know that's bullshit. Um, and the Inflation Reduction Act that he's doing, that's not going to give us anything better um, because it is $700 billion. Let me Let me show you guys this. $700 billion Senate deal on climate health says it will lower deficit. Compromise bill, most significant legislation in history to tackle the climate crisis. So they're saying that this will reduce inflation because it will tackle climate. If you don't smell the 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 corruption and the you know uh, people in power leveraging stock tips, if you don't smell the, the essentially payola, I don't know what to tell you. Because the fact that this is focusing on climate right now is astonishingly, astonishingly naive from any other perspective than profiteering. Like, look at this. $700 billion. It's the strongest bill that can reach his desk. The compromise bill struck less than 24 hours prior is far from perfect, but called it the most significant legislation in history to tackle the climate crisis and improve our energy security right away. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this fucking... What they're doing is they're manifestly shoving this stuff in front of you, right? 
Um, and then they're telling you that the increased spending is going to reduce inflation. Said the bill would not raise taxes for anyone earning less than 400000 a year and would instead require the U.S.'s largest corporations to pay a 15% minimum tax. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I believe you. I believe you. I believe that this that this um, big business president is totally going to turn on big business now and demand a 15% minimum tax. That this is the final form of compromise. And that if this doesn't work, they're not going to use it not working as a way to force their agenda. Totally. We all believe you. Um, and meanwhile, um, the people who have been, um, like, benefiting the most from all this stuff, uh, you know, other than the military industrial complex, big oil, they've been making out like bandits, 70 billion in banditry. Keep in mind, again, 20 billion is about the yearly cost of homelessness. They could fizzle it out for that much. So, 70 billion in that in in that like minor profit and then 700 billion in a senate deal on climate and health yeah they're just they're just shitting in our open mouths they don't care about helping the common person they care about keeping the common person exactly where they are and then when the common person starts to complain, calling it Putin's price hike. That's what this really is. Um, you know, and, and if you don't think so, their ally countries are starting to muscle in the economic order I've been talking about, where large cash transactions are banned and will require digital payments on a facial recognition database. Almost like the same kinds of things that I've been saying are going to happen are happening. Shucks. You know? I I mean it would it would be it would be pretty bad if I was just right. <laughs> this year the country's interior ministry also has to extend the collection of fingerprints for Israel's national Biometric ID database. The government hopes to update the database soon to include facial recognition information about residents. Similarly, as reported in the counter signal, the Canadian government is working with several major Canadian airlines to implement digital ID and facial recognition technology for air travel by next year. For the purpose of this proposal, Digitized digital and biometric documents refer to digital copies of physical identification documents that are scanned or updated. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, they're jettisoning old economies and railroading in new ones. The Biggest businesses are cashing in massively, just like they always fucking do. Big Oil and the military-industrial complex running to the bank. And the U.S. government has the audacity to claim that $700 billion spending bills are going to be bad for inflation. Why? Well, because they claim that the rich are going to uh, shoulder the burden. Maybe. But if you ask me, the same groups of people who are to morally flexible enough to overcharge at the pump and make 
70 billion in profits when the rest of the country is struggling and suffering the same businesses who will rake in uh profits and power by this new biometric id system those people probably have ways around your fucking tax you know just maybe they already rigged the system in their favor. Could it be? Could, could, could that be? Could it be that they've rigged the system in their favor? And that this transition onto the new economic paradigm that already started in China and is being implemented in Israel and Canada... And has legs in every major country, including the U.S., which is why the ID2020 Alliance exists. And why the Digital Dollar Project is working with the same people like Accenture and uh, Microsoft and the Rockefellers to muscle this through. Um, maybe they've already got their fucking golden parachute. And maybe they, they don't care about freedom. Maybe they don't care about your particular, like, uh, prosperity. And whether or not this works uh, in your favor is a potential ancillary side benefit that prevents you from rebelling. Oh, and all while they're um, putting through the, and I'm not joking, assault weapons ban of 2022. Because... Right now would be a great time to disarm people if you care about freedom, right? This is the land of the free, right? This is the land of freedom, right? Maybe fucking not. And maybe we should stop, like, like worshipping at the altar of, of these platitudes and realize that the enemy is manifestly at our doorstep and refuse just possibly cuz I'll tell you what disarming us removing large transactions putting us all on a facial recognition cashless database that is the kind of mark of the beast stuff that I've been talking about since I was hella a kid. So maybe we should realize that. Realize that it was never Putin's price hike to begin with. And that it was always the powers that be transitioning us on to their new system. Maybe. And maybe. If all that is the case. We should smash the fucking state.